are you doing? When I was a kid, there was a television programme that I was quite a big fan of called Jack and Ori. Uh, it effectively was on every day after school and it entailed a celebrity reading a story. Now, I'm not much of a celebrity, I'll give you that, but I do have quite a lot of very interesting old books. So what I thought might be nice is if I read you some of them. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to read a chapter from R.G. Allenson Wynne's wonderful book, Boxing, uh, published at the very end of the 1800s, 1890 something. Let me just see. It'll say in here somewhere, if I can find it, of course. Um, I'm trying to be careful with the book because this one's a little bit fragile. Uh, this one was published in 1890, and it's a second edition, so um, there are clearly earlier ones. So what I'd like to do is, uh, firstly, find the chapter. Um, I thought I'd put a bookmark in it, but uh, clearly not. Um, here we go. It's chapter 10. I'm not going to read you the whole book, because clearly this is an instruction manual, uh, and reading you an instruction manual would be a bit bizarre. However, chapter 10 is a little bit special. Chapter 10, A Rough and Tumble. As a beginner, it will be better if you seldom or never spar free. A good coach who will constantly keep you up to your position and from whom you learn a fresh wrinkle every time you box with him is invaluable. If possible, go on with him for a year or so varying the work with occasional spars with other good boxers. And then, when your eye possesses some nicety in the manner of judging distance and your hitting and defensive powers are really showing improvement, you may take a few turns with rough natural fighters as may be found in country villages. Young farmers, labourers, etc. are often delighted to oblige in this direction and will generally put on the mittens and go at you with gusto. And then, a rare opportunity will be opened for countering and timing. At first, the bloodthirsty onslaughts may flurry you a little bit. But never mind, if the rushes are terrific, retreat slowly at first, acting entirely on the defensive and weaving off the blows as they are showered down. Rustics invariably hit down and swing their arms round like the sails of a windmill, hoping, after each miss, to catch you on the next downward swoop. Having learned to guard well in the weaving style, the chances are you won't be much damaged, and the blows will glance off your forearms without jarring. And then, when your burly antagonist gets a bit puffed by his rushes and superfluous evolutions, you may make a bit of a stand and try your hand at timing. It may not all come off as you expect and wish, and you may get a black eye or so, but that does not matter much, as you will have tried conclusions with a rough natural fighter, such as you may any day meet in the streets, and the experience is worth paying for. Whatever you do, however, don't go in for too many of these rough and tumble people till you are really pretty good, and know fairly well the extent of your own capabilities. If you do so, and get badly knocked about, it may sicken you of boxing forever. Two or three goes of this kind in the course of a year will be amply sufficient. As soon as the rustic has been polished off, or has polished you off, go back to your scientific work and continue the study of those theories which, founded on correct mechanical principles, cannot fail to lead you on the right road to practical success. Think out plans of attack and defence before turning in at night. Dream of them, if you can, and then try to put them in practice in the morning. Fight with your brains, keep a cheerful heart, and if your limbs are strong and quick, you ought not to despair of doing well as a boxer. And that's the entirety of Chapter 10 from Boxing by R.G. Allenson Wynne, 5th Lord Headley. Uh, it's a very interesting look at a certain snapshot of time and culture. Um, but I thought you might enjoy it. It's certainly one of my favourite chapters in any of the instructional books. Um, if, if you've enjoyed this uh, Jack and Ori pugilism style, 
Then I'll dig out some of the other books I have, uh, Boxing Honor, uh, Fights for the Championship, and various things like that. And I'll read you some more of my, my favourite stories. Let me know, and I'll see you around soon. Bye-bye.